Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views. Today is November 10, 2014. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. We're going to start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. And what you're going to see here is that the futures right now are trading higher by about two points this morning to 2028 per contract. So futures are up ahead of the opening bell. We'll see how the market plays out once the opening bell rings. Again, uh, overall the markets are very, very overbought at this stage of the game, but they have not pulled back really much at all. So we'll see what today brings. Um, when I look at uh, this kind of a market, uh, it reminds you of just the uh, typical August uh, type action where markets can just go higher really on the back of any any little positive news here. But um, very, very, this is a very, very overbought condition, and uh, we'll see if we do get any type of a pullback in the near term. There are a lot of stocks out here in the news, um, so we're going to take a look at uh, several of them first. Uh, we're going to look at uh, Dean Foods. Dean Foods is in the news. Uh, stock right now is trading at $15.72. It closed at $14.42. So Dean Foods catching a pretty good bid. Um, one level that I would watch for in the stock right now, um, if I could point it out, would be um, right around the $16 pier, $16.08. Right around there, the stock should hit a fair amount of resistance. There will also be a lot of resistance around 1685. So keep those two levels on the radar for Dean Foods. Um, but right now, the stock is gapping up. Decent gap up, too. Uh, not bad. But again, 1608, that's where you should hit some resistance. And then 1685 should be much, much more resistance for Dean Foods. Uh, let's go over to Toll Brothers. Looks like they reported earnings. Uh, Toll Brothers right now is trading at $33 a share. This is one of the leading high-end home builders. Uh, I think the stock right now, if you get to around... 33.30, 33.40. Stock should hit a lot of resistance there. Next big level I'm seeing is around 34.40, 34.45. So again, I don't know if there's a whole lot of upside here uh, left in the cards for Toll Brothers. If you own the stock, I would trail the stop loss, but I would not be chasing this one today. Um, be very, very careful. Now, last Friday we did have a gap play, which was Yumana. And we caught that. That bounced over a dollar from our level. And uh, traders in the In The Money Stocks chat room made a lot of money. So if you want to come over and get our plays, our trades, come on over. Take a seven-day free trial to the Intraday Stock Chat. And, uh, again, test drive it. See what it's all about. And uh, you'll see all the plays that we put out each and every day. Let's go over to the next stock we're going to look at is GoPro. GPRO. That's the... Uh, the camera uh, company that uh, you get to tie it to your 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 helmet or to your surfboard or whatever you want to do with it. Stock is plunging today. Stock closed at 79.06. It's now trading at 73.57. It looks like the company did a secondary offering. Uh, the only level that even entices me in this equity is all the way down at around um, 60 bucks. So again. Maybe you'll find a little bit of support around 63 if it gets down. That's still another 10 points lower from the current level. So I'm not sure we get down there today, but um, that's the only level that's even enticing me when I look at a daily chart right now. So again, be very, very careful with GoPro. This is a strong gap down. Right now the stock is trading at 73, but I would not rule out lower price here for GoPro in the near term. Unfortunately, we have some bad news for a stock, DNDN, which is called Dendrion Corp. Um, looks like they are filing for bankruptcy. Stock closed at $0.94, $0.94 on Friday, now trading at $0.30. Cents. Believe it or not, this stock does have a prostate, prostate cancer drug, and um, it just never, ever took off. So they are going to look to reorganize or potentially look for a buyer. But um, stock right now is trading at $0.29. Cents. In my opinion, there's nothing to do here. Leave the stock alone. Let's take a look at DDD, which is 3D Systems. Looks like they reported earnings. Stock closed at $34.47. Uh, looks like they're trading at $35.31. There's not a lot to do here. Um, we're going to watch this one once the opening bell rings. Maybe there'll be a play um, of some sort. But right now, there really isn't much we would do with 3D Systems at this stage of the game. Let it shake out a little bit. Let's see where the traders want to bring this one or the investors or the big institutional firms are going to push it. And then we'll look and see what kind of pattern we get. But there's not a lot we could do with this one. Let's take a look at GoGo. This is the on, uh, airline internet services company. So if you ever on an airline and you get internet, this is probably the company that provides it. This is GoGo. 
uh, trading at $15.50, closed at $16.64. The only level I'm seeing for the stock right now that entices me is around $14.70, $14.60. There will be a little bit of short-term support. That is a double bottom area going back to um, mid-October. So there will be a little bit of support there. After that, um, the next level that I really have for the stock is all the way down to 1150. So be very, very careful with GoGo. Um, GoGo is not going very far at the moment. Let's take a look at RIG, which is TransOcean. Everybody probably knows this company, uh, big oil driller, um, oil services stock. Right now, the company the stock is uh, trading at thirty dollars and twenty cents. I believe they finally came out with their earnings statement, which was delayed, but um, stock closed at twenty nine seventy one. Um, I would be very careful with this one as well. I'm not sure uh, we would want to do too much with it. But one thing I will say, there's a ton, and I do say the word ton, of resistance at 33.57 if it does trade up to that level. So again, there could be a potential fade or pullback around 33.57, but there's nothing I would do with it on the on the long side at this stage of the game. I'd let it rather see it get up there first and then maybe play it. So again, we'll probably have this on our radar today in the intraday stock chat. We're going to look to play this one. And again, come on over, take a seven-day free trial. You'll see everything that we're looking to do. Right now, um, <clears throat> the gold market, we're going to go over to gold, is trading down $2.60. Gold had a huge surge on Friday. Spot gold is trading at $1,167 an ounce. Let's go over to the GLD. GLD right now is trading at 112.25. You can see it right there. Um, so it's down a little bit from 112.97 where it closed on Friday. I don't know if there's a lot we would do with the gold market at this stage of the game, but it is always on our radar intraday, and we will play gold quite often uh, throughout the trading day in the intraday stock chat. Uh, let's go over to the oil market this morning. Crude futures are trading higher by 75 cents to 79 dollars and 38 cents a barrel. That's a decent pop for crude. Let's go over to the USO, which is a good ETF to play crude on an intraday and daily chart basis. You're going to see USO is trading at $30.11. It closed at $29.76 on Friday. So you got a little bit of an uptick. I do think um, the cold weather that we're seeing across the United States right now is definitely a factor here. So keep that on the radar. Also, you have a little bit of a weaker dollar this morning. U.S. dollar index trading down about 21 cents. That is also helping uh, crude futures move up a little bit. So we'll see how that plays out going forward. Right now, looks like the S&P 500 E-mini futures are just up $1.50. Um, so up a point and a half at the moment to 20 27 and a half per contract. We'll see where this goes. Like I said, these markets are severely overbought on a daily chart basis in the near term. So to see a pause or a pullback should not be ruled out at this t stage of the game. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we'll see you on the charts.